Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Today I'm at Alexander Vineyards outside of Fredericksburg, Texas, and I'm reviewing their Crianza. Let's get started. All right, so like I said, I'm at Alexander Vineyards outside of Fredericksburg, and I'm reviewing their 2014 Crianza. It's $27 a bottle, and it's 14% ABV. Now, I know what you're saying. It doesn't fall under the Wine on the Dime price point because it's not under $15 a bottle. As I say on every wine review, when you go to a winery, sometimes you don't get things that are necessarily mass market, and sometimes you get some things that are a little bit special, and you get the experience of going to a winery. So stop complaining about paying a little bit more for those bottles. It's quite worth it. So let's get started. Looking at this, it is it's a nice ruby color. Uh, it has a little bit of purple, a little bit, but not too much. Very little transparency, but no artifacts, no cloudiness. Very well done. From a nose standpoint, ooh, I'm getting a lot of ripe red fruit. So I'm getting a lot of red cherry. Almost getting what, like, I don't know if you guys have ever picked up a piece of quartz, but it kind of smells like quartz, just a little bit. So I'm hoping that there's some mineral notes that come out in the taste. A lot of red fruit, not really getting any oak though, even though it is uh, aged in oak for about 12 months, if I recall. Overall, quite nice from a taste standpoint. Oh, that's good Tempranillo. That's it. So unknown wine caster, if you're watching this one, this is what we're gonna be going to. Um, this is quite nice. A little bit of heat coming out now that I've had some. But I'm getting what, what tastes like red cherry, slight hint of raspberry, and just a little bit of oak. The oak shows up on the mid palate, goes into the finish a little bit. Overall, this is quite nice. So, 2014 Alexander Vineyards Crowns. What am I going to reach you? gonna rate you a very good. You're really good. Um, now, like I said, you're not $15 and under, but you know what? This this might be one of the best Tempranillos I've had in a long time. Um, I'm actually debating on whether or not you're gonna, no, you know what? You're gonna be very good because you have some other Tempranillos that are slightly more mature than I need to try. And that might be what moves you into great. So, I'll just have to come back up again sometime and do a review of one of those and see if I can bump you into that category. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you been to Texas and had the Alexander Vineyards Crianza? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I'm just gonna kick back and relax.